Vertical siding requires a solid nailable sheathing. If this is not available or the surface requires leveling, attach furring strips horizontally every 12 inches. Many of the installation rules for vertical siding are the same as for horizontal siding with some exceptions. Corner posts should extend one quarter inch below where the J-channel will go. Instead of starter strip at the bottom of the wall, J-channel is used as a bottom receiver. It should be installed in the same way as a horizontal starter strip, except you should drill 3 16 of an inch weep holes through the bottom of the J-channel no more than every 24 inches. J-channel is required on all sides of windows and at the tops of walls. To determine the number of panels needed for the wall, divide the width of the wall by the width of the vertical panel to be used. If either end requires only a partial panel, split the measurement equally on both sides to create a balanced appearance. Install utility trim into one of the corner posts to receive the partial panel. Shimming might be necessary to maintain the face of the panel. Use a snap lock punch to create lugs in the edge of the end panel and install it into the corner post. Install the remaining panels by placing the first nail in the top of the top nail slot instead of the middle. Leave a 1 quarter inch gap at the top of the panels and a 3 8 inch gap at the bottom of the panel to allow for expansion and contraction. Fasten the panels not more than every 12 inches apart. Remember to nail in the center of the nail slots and do not nail tight. If a wall requires more than one course of vertical siding or there is a transition from horizontal to vertical siding, finish installing the lower siding. Then install rigid head flashing on top of the lower siding accessory by sealing it to the wall and fastening it securely. Rigid head flashing can be purchased or feel formed from trim coil. A piece of J-channel must be used as the bottom receiver for the second course of vertical siding. Drill 3 16 of an inch weep holes every 24 inches. Install the J-channel at least 1 8 of an inch above the rigid head flashing to allow for water drainage. For gable ends, you can use the balanced method described earlier or you can start at the center of the gable with back-to-back J-channel -back or a transitional channel. The method for determining the angle to cut the vertical siding in the gable end is the same method that was used for horizontal siding.